switch over to on. So I'm gonna set the pressure. I'm gonna set it to 30. So it's got a, like a memory in there. Huh? Hey Pat, John. Hey love. Hey, um, I got this thing over at Costco. I want to see if it starts your car. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we don't have to, you know, hook up the uh, extension cord and the battery charger and all that. So I want to give it a try. Oh, all right. All right, I'll be over in just a little bit, okay? Okay, love. All right, bye. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. John here and you're in the Sky One Videos channel. Um, got a situation here. My, <laughs> my mother-in-law, who has a car, every time she goes to use it, if she does use it, like once in a blue moon, the battery is dead. So I was doing like everybody else and, you know, hooking up the extension cord. That's a pain in the butt. I got to go out there and if she parks close enough to the outlet, so I gotta plug in the extension cord, the charger, put it on the charger, let it sit for a while, cause I only got a six amp, six amp charger. Um, takes a while, you know? So anyway, I got this thing. I was out with my wife at Costco and uh, these things look pretty cool. I wanna see if uh, if this works out. This is one of the, uh, the cat, you know, power stations. You can charge your, you know, start your car. It's got like USB ports, a little inverter and light on it and even an air pump, which is kind of cool too. So um, I'm going to give it a try. Her car, the battery's got to be completely stone cold because it hasn't been run in like forever. So let's give this thing a test. I'm not even going to charge it up, plug it in, do nothing. It's just going to take it out of the box and try it. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. So the questions I have about this is, am I going to have to you know, leave this plugged in for a while, or can I just, this is not exhaust. Oh man. Can I just connect it to the battery and start the car? Am I gonna have to let it run, for, uh, charge for a bit? That's the question. Hey Pat. Hey Charlie. All right. Yeah, I forgot your keys. You got your keys? Yeah. Let's see how this works. All right. Let's see if this works. Okay. Let's get this plastic off. So I turn the switch over to on, and I think that's all I need to do. And uh, okay. Let's see if this starts. I think he's gonna have to sit on there a little bit. The dome light came on. Look at the keys. Oh my gosh, you got like a zillion keys. Your grandma do this kind of stuff. Woo. Holy smoke, it started it right up. <laughs> wow. Amazing, huh? Wow. Started it right up. It's a lot easier. Just plugging it on there in a second and it started it right up. So that was pretty cool. So the other thing this thing will do is um, it's got an air pressure thing. And since it's been cold, I want to check your tire pressure. I'd like to check your tire pressure with a regular gauge before I plug this thing in. But it does have a gauge on it, but let's just see. I think she has one. So I got this gauge here, it's a digital one. They say these are better, I don't know, I, I like the mechanical ones better actually. Especially if it's dark out. It's kind of light, but I don't know. So let's check this back tire. All right, I checked all her tire pressures. They uh, between 26 and 29. It's about 45 degrees outside. I'm gonna bring it up to 30 pounds. I think 30 would be good. And then when the temperature comes up, before I get to 35. So let's see what happens. Yeah, it's got a little pump on here, I think. So I'm gonna set the pressure. I'm gonna set it to 30. 
which is a little bit low, but it's cold, so that's good. Okay, and then I press it again, I think it'll come on, so I'm gonna screw this on here. I if I can do this one hand in no? Yeah. Alright, so this is nice. You screw it on. It doesn't really leak a lot of air when you're screwing it on. It shows me in the current current and my set. So I'm gonna hit the button. For 30, let's see how long it takes to get to 30. It's coming up pretty fast. It should shut off by itself. Looks like it stopped at 29.9. Cool. All right. And now I'll uh, I'll compare it to my uh, my manual meter. All right, so I measured it with this thing. It came up 29 and a half. So uh, pretty close. Uh, also, when I screwed, uh, plugged this thing in, a little bit of air came out. Not much, but uh, pretty accurate. I don't know the accuracy of either one, so. but close enough. All right, let's do the other tires. So I noticed um, I had to hit the air button again, but it remembered the last setting of 30, which is good. So it's got a, like a memory in there. So let me bring this up. This is a lot easier than having to fill it and checking, fill and check. See, so just stop at 29.9. So uh, this thing is a is a win. Uh, Works out real well. I don't know what model. I thought it at Costco. It was 100 bucks. CJ 1000 DXT. That's it right there. It was about 100 bucks. So yeah. Worked out good. I'm happy. Pat's happy. Yeah, that thing is pretty cool, man. I'm, uh, I'm glad I bought it. It was 100 bucks. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you got any comments or uh, questions, uh, put it in the comment field. I appreciate it. So what do you guys think? Uh, that thing's pretty cool, huh? They will put uh, start a car right up, put air in the tires. Good to go. Yeah. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, tell me if you've used one of these before. All right.